Hi, I'm Ian, and today we're going to play a little game. First of all, pick your player. We're going to go with Susie. Susie is a low-level felony offender. At 19, she stole her mom's credit card and made some charges on it. Susie only bought clothes with the credit card, but when the police show up to recover the garments, they also take thousands of dollars worth of other items, including a TV and a camera, saying that they suspected that they were also stolen. She is never able to get her legally acquired property back from the police. So before Susie goes to trial, she's gonna get a chance at pre-trial intervention. Basically, the prosecutor offers her a deal. She pays $1,000 in administrative costs, plus the costs associated with drug testing and drug classes, and she'll get out with nothing on her criminal record. Susie doesn't have $1,000 right now, but they say she can make payments. Sounds like a pretty good deal. However, Susie has to plead guilty and forfeit her right to a trial. And if she can't make a payment, she goes directly to prison. So Susie goes out to get a job so that she can make all these payments. But the charges hanging over her head make that a little bit difficult. So the next month, when she shows up short on cash, she goes to prison for a year. When she finally leaves prison a year later, it's even harder for her to find a job. She's a convicted felon, fresh out of prison. Susie still owes thousands of dollars to the state. So a few months later, when she's finally found a job, but is still behind on her payments, the judge puts her in jail for 30 days, tacked on another thousand dollars in interest. So she's even further in debt to the state and doesn't have a job. So years later, a person who committed a small, nonviolent crime at a young age can be jobless, in debt to the tune of thousands of dollars, and regularly incarcerated, all because she didn't have a thousand dollars up front. It's game over for Susie. Let's take a look at Tommy. Tommy is a low-level felony offender. At 19 years old, he stole his mom's credit card and made some charges on it. Now, before Tommy goes to trial, he's gonna get a chance at pre-trial intervention. Tommy has the money for the administrative costs and the drug tests and the drug classes. Tommy walks away without a mark on his record. Tommy won the game. The only difference between these two games is that Tommy had the money and Susie didn't. It makes this game look less like a blind justice system and more of a systematic exploitation of the poor. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below this video. Here at Reckon, we're trying to build a community around thoughtful, creative, investigative content, all based here in the Southeast, and we want your input. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you share this video and like us on Facebook. You can also drop us a story tip or just say hi at reckon at al.com. For Reckon, I'm Ian Hoppy.